Good morning. I'm heading to 7-Eleven to spend my very last Thai bar and then I'm getting ready for the ferry to Malaysia. I can't believe this is my last 7-Eleven toasting in Thailand. Very sad. Very sad. I'm about to check out, head to the beach, go to immigration, which I think might be the most interesting immigration I'm gonna have on this trip because immigration is pretty much a building on the beach. So we'll see what happens. here on Langkawi. It was an easy ferry ride. Then you just um, queue for the passport control and then you check your baggage through like an x-ray machine and then you enter the country. Easy as that. However, I was on the ferry and I wanted to listen to some music and I realized, wait, I don't have my earphones. Then I thought, hmm, I remember putting my earphones, my chargers, my world adapter and like some stuff underneath the hostel towel in Koh Lipe in Thailand before I left because this morning I went out to grab some breakfast but I left most of my stuff laying about so I feel like I always feel like if you just put something over it like a towel people are not going to see it it's less likely to get stolen so that's what I did but when I came back from 7-Eleven I realized that was quite a bit later than I thought it would be so I was in a hurry and I grabbed my bag, I grabbed my stuff, I looked on the bed, saw nothing and I left. That means that all of my stuff was still on there. Now, together, if I wanted to buy everything new, it would be, I think, like, it's more than what a return ticket to Kolipe will cost. I think that, so you can, if you go from Kolipe to Langkawi, there's two ports that you can, I want to say fly into, but like sail into. And that is Kua, Kua. I don't know which is where I went to and tele another one which is actually close to where I'm staying but I booked the ferry and then I booked my accommodation because I thought that all the hostels and stuff would be in Kua but apparently it's more on this side of the island so I had to take a grab here which was 25 ringgit which is about just under 5 euros fine not a problem it was an easy ride I think it took like I think it took half an hour so well worth it but I think I'm gonna try to get a ferry tomorrow morning from here, go over to Colipe, grab my stuff, and I think I'm gonna have to wait a while on the island and then in the afternoon go back here to Langawi. Thing is, I have to exit Malaysia, enter Thailand, grab my stuff, exit Thailand, enter Malaysia again. Now, I'm sure that they're gonna have questions about this, but I feel like Thailand wouldn't be weird because I've left Thailand for a day, came back, lots of people do a visa run so I don't think that will be a weird situation for like immigration but I've entered Malaysia for one day now which is today and then tomorrow I'm exiting Malaysia again. Now I don't think upon exiting they will have a problem with it, they, they might just assume that I'm doing a visa run for Thailand but when I want to come back I have two stamps. I've basically 
I'm gonna have three entry stamps from Malaysia because back in October I flew from where did I fly to? Oh, I flew from Indonesia to Malaysia, Malaysia to Cambodia. But I had a one day layover in Malaysia, so I entered Malaysia. I have an entry stamp of Malaysia and then I have an exit stamp the day after so I entered Malaysia for one day which was just my day layover now today I've entered Malaysia and I'm gonna exit tomorrow which is also <laughs> one day and then tomorrow I also want to enter Malaysia again so I think they're gonna have questions about that but <sighs> this is so so not fun <sighs> and it's quite a lot of money a return ticket is 60 bucks but if i wanted to buy everything new i think it would be a lot more than that like quality stuff like you can buy headphones for like two bucks but i want the ones the ones that i bought in i think it was in vietnam they're pretty good like they're pretty good quality so and i left my gopro charger i left my phone charger my adapter like i said i left too much there to leave it behind now my hostel as all right as my hostel was i emailed them they said they found it i said perfect i said look can you just um can you take it onto the next ferry i will pay for whatever cost it's gonna cost and i will pick it up here on the malaysia side they said yes we will you know let you know then i said okay thank you just let me know when and where i have to be and then then I got an email back saying, in my opinion, you have to find somebody who is going to pick it up from the hostel and take it with you for Malaysia, which uh, I don't know anyone. Like, I kind of understand why the hostel said this, but it's still not fun to hear. But I don't know anybody in Kolipe who is going to Langkawi. So I have nobody who can take my stuff with me. Now I have, oh, I haven't actually checked, but I did put a request in a Facebook group of Dutch people traveling in Asia on the off chance that somebody might be taking the ferry from Kolipe to Longkawi in the next few days. Sadly, nobody in the Facebook group has answered yet. Well, people have answered, but they're not going. But I think I'm gonna have to go to Kolipe myself and come back tomorrow. I feel so stupid. I always, always check my bed. I always check everything under my bed, in the locker, under the pillow, in the blanket. <sighs> but yeah. Also, that means I have no phone charger and no... That means that I have no charger for my phone. Although... I'm looking around and there's not even a place for you to charge your phone. Uh, not really. Okay, so I might see if 7-Eleven has something very, very cheap, but... No phone charger, and I'm currently at 30%, and I also need to buy a SIM card. So I'm hoping that I at least have enough... Um, I'm hoping that I have at least enough battery to buy a SIM card and get it set up. I think you can buy one at 7-Eleven. I think I'm going to do if they have one for 10 days, for 10 days, because I'm going to be in the country for 10 days. And yeah, I'm also going to the ATM because I need money. I also need to pay for this accommodation, which I haven't done yet. It's been the adventures of, um, of Malaysia so far. It's not a great start, but it's not like I can't blame Malaysia for this. It's totally 100% my fault but it's still not fun.
morning. The roosters have been going off since about four o'clock in the morning. Time to go to Thailand.